In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this Minecraft animation using my Android device. And for those of you who have been on the channel for a while now, you already know what Prisma 3D is. And for those of you who don't, it's basically the Blender equivalent for a mobile device. To start this off, I created a new project in Prisma 3D, but before that, I went over to the Rough Animator app to create an animation sketch of what I had in mind. And what's going on here is basically a sorcerer with an obsidian sword trying to kill a man with a creeper mask. And it soon occurs to me that making an entire 2D animation for the reference will take more time than actually making the 3D animation. So I went back into Prisma 3D and just started up the animation without any reference. So I imported in one of my previously modeled characters along with one of my previously modeled swords. Then I attached the swords to the character and got it to the right size. After importing the second character and bringing in a camera, I went straight to the animation process. And those red markers on the floor are just reference points to make sure my character's legs are not sliding around. And that can be totally avoided once the inverse kinematics update releases. And after completing the first shot, I brought in some lights to get a good view of what the final render is going to look like. Then I detached the copy of the sword which I'm going to be using for the trail effect later on. Then I made the sword glow a little bit for the next attack by animating the specular setting. Then I threw in some lights to actually sell this effect. Then I went on to animating the next attack which was the sorcerer sending a shockwave across the scene. When I was done with that, I went back to the other swords that I kept aside earlier in the video. Then I made it very bright and a little bit transparent and animated it to match the movements of the sword in the character's hand. And after going through that whole process, we had this glitched out trail effect which was looking really nice. Then I added in more swords and copied the keyframe from the original sword but this time with a little bit of delay. And then we had four swords trailing the original image which was perfect. Well I used practically the same process for the shockwave itself. Then I imported in some of my previously made particle effects like the fire and explosion. And after piecing together all the effects and the animation, it was time to build the scene. Which didn't take as long as I expected and after I was done with that, I rendered the final clip, took it over to CapCut for the final edits. Mm -hmm. 